Mac DeMarco is a man of many talents, and while some only know him for his work as a comedian, he's also an interviewer for the BBC, a famous meme, and he's in a band called Mac DeMarco. Today we're going to be looking at Mac's guitar sound, and more specifically, from album number two in the band's discography, an album called Two. So do up the buttons on your flannel shirt, tighten the laces on your canvas shoes, and get ready for today's Sound Like video. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Sounds Like Mac DeMarco. Now occasionally in interviews, when Mac's not giving us the details of his morning routine, didn't shower this morning. he gives us some insight into what guitars, mics and effects he uses to record his music. Now I don't know what the gravity defying guitar is on the album art, but Mac often is known to play a Fender Strat model. And if you don't have a Strat, most Fender guitars with single coil pickups will do nicely. Telecasters, Jazzmasters and Mustangs will all do nicely. Avoid anything with P90 or humbucker pickups. Don't be me and try and play his music with a Les Paul model. You don't need an expensive guitar either. Mac often plays with the cheap Squire Strat range so that he can demolish the guitar on stage. So if you do own an expensive instrument, you can sell it and buy yourself some cigarettes. And a cheap guitar. Set the pickup selector on your guitar to the neck position and try and play as close to the bridge as you can with your pick. Then you're going to want to configure your EQ to boost the mids and the highs. Most of the instruments on two are extremely bright sounding, especially the electric guitar. Now while Mac is known by many to use plenty of chorus on his guitar sound, it's actually a misconception and what he uses is called tremolo. You got your thing here and then the chorus is just over here, a little bit later, jiggling. But if you could just get the jiggle, man, oh I liked that a lot. Tremolo can be built into your amplifier, a multi-effect pedal, your digital audio interface, or from one of these, a standard effect pedal. I got mine for as cheap as £20, Mac would be proud. You're also going to want to add plenty of reverb, and I use it in the form of a pedal and usually keep the dial between 9 and 12 o'clock depending on the song. If you've got a tremolo and a reverb pedal, make sure your reverb is the last connected up pedal before going into your amplifier. Otherwise, your guitar's going to sound like a spaghetti western. Now, although I found most of the songs on 2 sound amazing with the tremolo and reverb only, there are a couple of exceptions which sound better with chorus instead of tremolo. Viceroy and Freaking Out the Neighbourhood sound pretty great with the chorus pedal, although go easy on that thing because if you turn it up much above minimum it's not really going to sound like a guitar anymore. <laughs> If you'd like to see more of my videos, consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos for guitar players who are interested in improving at their instruments, so if that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll tell you my new true love, or maybe, sh maybe I shouldn't, because then the price will go up. The <laughs> Yeah, those are tight, and nobody likes them yet. If you don't believe that, I'm coming back to Chicago and you're all dead.